Welcome to the Michigan Department of Education Office of Special Education's video on submitting special education personnel approvals through the Michigan Online Educator Certification System, which we will refer to as the MOEX. This video explains the process for special education personnel approvals requested by a local district. The application and approval process is completed through the MOEX. We will provide a demonstration of the system and cover the required steps for the local school district, the Intermediate School District, or ISD, and the Teacher Preparation Institution, or TPI. What is the MOEX? The MOEX is a fully secured, web-based application developed and managed by the State of Michigan. The system is used by the Teacher Preparation Institutions, school districts, educators and teacher candidates, the Michigan Department of Education Office of Professional Preparation Services, and most recently, the Michigan Department of Education Office of Special Education for processing special education personnel approvals. How can I access the MOEX? You need to first create a Michigan Education Information System, or MIS, account by visiting the website at https colon forward slash forward slash sepi dot state dot mi dot us forward slash mis forward slash create new account dot aspx. If you already have a MIS account for yourself as an applicant or educator, you will need to apply for an additional MIS account for approvals. Once you have successfully created the MIS account, you need to register to have access for special education personnel approvals through the MOEX by filling out the form from the Special Education Personnel Approvals website and returning it to the Office of Special Education. Only authorized users will be able to access the system. Now let's get started on the actual steps involved with processing an approval. Visit the MOEX website at www.michigan.gov forward slash MOECS. Click on the button to go to the MOEX login page. On the MOEX homepage, you will see at the right hand side the area designated to log in. There are also several link options for things such as if you have forgotten your login name, password, or if you need to create a login name and password. The last link is a public search to look up certificates or special education personnel approvals. The local district will enter the assigned login name and password to enter the system. Once logged into the MOEX, a screen with four options at the left sidebar will appear. Choose Apply Process Approval. After clicking the Apply Process button, enter the Personal Identification Code, or PIC, and the category and approval type that the district would like to apply for. In this example, we will select Teacher as the category and Temporary Approval Teacher as the approval type. Click Next. This screen has several areas that need to be filled out with some assurance statements and a validation box that need to be checked. Complete all applicable information, including the approval program category, teacher preparation institution, and effective date or date of hire. Review and check the assurance and validation statements and type the name as it appears to the right of the electronic signature box. Click Submit. The request will then go to the ISD to submit to the TPI or to deny. An application reference number appears at the top of the screen. The ISD then logs into the MOEX, and the following screen will appear. Choose Apply Process Approval. An ISD is able to enter a new approval or work on an existing application from this screen. In this demonstration, the ISD is logging in to work on an existing application. The ISD will click on the Process Approval tab at the left. The ISD may navigate through the available table for the candidate that needs to be approved, or they can fill in one of the search areas above to narrow down the list. Once the ISD has found the candidate they need to approve, they will click on the application number to select the candidate. Once an application is chosen, this screen will appear showing the ISD all the information as it pertains to the specific candidate and the approval the local school district is seeking to obtain. 
the ISD has the ability to change the school district, effective date, and or university or college if necessary. The ISD will need to go to the Action drop-down list and select Submit to TPI or Deny. If the ISD selects Deny from the drop-down list, remarks must be added. If the request is denied by the ISD, an email message will be sent to the local school district. In this example, the ISD selects Submit to TPI from the drop-down list and a Submit button appears at the bottom of the screen. The ISD must click the Submit button. We will now log into the system as the TPI. Once logged in, the TPI will see several work list tables that give the number of approvals, certifications, etc. Choose the work list menu item at the left, followed by the approvals menu item. This screen shows all the information as it pertains to the specific candidates and the approvals submitted to be processed. The TPI can select the appropriate candidate by clicking on the application number or by searching for the candidate by using the available search criteria. After selecting the candidate, the TPI will review the information that appears. In the Action drop-down menu, the TPI needs to select Recommend or Deny. If a TPI selects Deny, remarks must be added. In this example, the TPI selects Recommend. Once Recommend is selected, a Submit button appears. Click the Submit button. The recommendation will now be submitted to the ISD for their review and approval. The ISD will then log in and click on Apply Process Approval at the left sidebar menu. The ISD then selects Process Approval and may navigate through the available table for the candidate they need to approve or they can fill in one of the search areas above to narrow down the list. Once the ISD has found the candidate they need to approve, they will click on the application number to select the candidate. Again, the ISD can select Approve or Deny. If the ISD selects Deny, remarks must be added and submitted. If the request is denied, an email application will be sent to the local school district. If necessary, the local school district will resubmit the request. If the ISD selects Approve, additional information must be confirmed by checking the box next to each area. In the electronic signature box, your full name must be typed in as shown to the right of the box, then click Approve. This information is submitted into the system as being approved by the ISD. In this example, because it is a teacher approval, the local school district will receive an email confirmation with an option to pay the approval fee through a website link. The district can click on the link to submit payment or has the option to log into the approval system to pay the fee. If the request is approved for any area other than a teacher approval, no payment is required. The local school district will receive an email confirmation with instructions on how to download the letter of approval. If the district decides to pay the teacher approval fee through the system, they will log into the MOEX, select Apply Process Approval from the left-hand menu, and choose Pay Fee, also at the left. Select the candidate from the work list table or search for the candidate using the search parameters at the top of the page. Check the box next to the candidate's application number and click Pay Fee. Payments can be made for one or multiple candidates. Pop-ups may need to be enabled on your browser to see the payment window. Payments are due within 30 days and payment may be made with a valid Visa, MasterCard, or Discover card. If the fee is not paid within 30 days of approval, a reminder email notification will be sent to the local school district. Click Next. In the payment window, fill out the billing and credit card information without spaces and click Next. Review the information and click Pay Now. After paying the fee, a payment confirmation will appear with an option to print. Once the Close button is clicked, the MOEX Approval Payment screen will display. Select Manage Approval from the left-hand menu. Search for the candidate using the search parameters at the top of the page. Click the radio button next to the candidate's name and choose Download Approval Letter from the drop-down list. Click Go. 
Download the PDF of the letter and distribute it to the candidate. This concludes the procedures for processing a request by a local school district for special education personnel approval through the MOEX. If you have questions regarding processing and approval, please seek assistance from your ISD special education approval contact. A list of contacts can be downloaded from the OSE Special Education Approvals webpage found under Contact Information.